Vince Coriolis. Vincent Vince P. to Patrick Coriolis, 15 October 1932, 13 December 2008, also known as the Wild Bull of the Pampers, was an English rugby league footballer and coach. He played as a loose forward and was part of the Great Britain squad which won the 1960 World Cup. He forged a fearsome reputation as a strong runner of the ball and a devastating tackler. He was also highly regarded as a brilliant basser of the ball, often doing so with one of his large hands. Club career. Vince Coriolis was born in Widnes, Lancashire, England. He was one of eight children born to a Scottish father and an Irish mother. His paternal grandparents were Lithuanian. Three of his brothers, Terry, Dennis and Tony, also went on to become rugby league players. He started playing for West Bank Golf in Widnes at the age of 15, before signing professionally for Street Hands in 1951. He made his debut against Warrington in April 1952, and his first try was against the now defunct Liverpool City in that same time. His intimidating presence became a telling feature of his play. Respected for his ferocious attitude in the pitch, he was dubbed the Wild Bull of the Pampas by the Australian press in reference to the Argentine boxer Lewis Angel Fopa, who had knocked World Heavyweight Boxing Champion Jack Dempsey out of the ring back in 1923. It took until the 1955-56 season for Coriolis to establish himself as a street talents regular, although a significant part of the 31 games he played that season were in the second row. Many were quick to focus on Coriolis' main defensive play, but his value to street talents was also evident in attack where he combined rugby news with delicate handling skills to distribute effectively. Vince Coriolis played in Street Helen's third in two victory over Halifax in the 1955-56 Challenge Cup final during the 1955-56 season at Wembley Stadium, London on Saturday 28 April 1956 in front of a crowd of 79,341. 1956-57 was a watershed season for Coriolis. He accumulated 18 tries, no mean feat for a forward, and was a member of the Street Helen side which hammered the Australian touring side by 44-2. Coriolis was acknowledged for his contributions to Street Helen's success including the 1959 Vollenhoven Championship final win by 44-22 over Hunslet. When Alan Prescott retired from the game, Coriolis was seen by some as the natural successor to the captaincy of Street Helens. During this period, Vince Coriolis played and was the captain in Street Helens' 12-6 victory over Wigan in the 1961 Challenge Cup final during the 1960-61 season at Wembley Stadium, London, on Saturday, 30 May 1961, in front of a crowd of 94,672. The first occasion that he lifted a trophy for the club was in season 1960-60, won at Central Park. Wigan Winston Helens won the Lancashire Cup by 15-9 against Swinton. Street Helens repeated this in the same competition in the following four years, 1961-62, 1962-63 and 1964-65 v Swinton and 1963-64 v Lee. Vince Coriolis played in Street Helens 16 a victory over Wigan in the 1953 Lancashire Cup final during the 1953-54 season at Station Road. Swinton on Saturday 24 October 1953 played in the 3-10 defeat by Oldham in the 1956 Lancashire Cup final during the 1956-57 season at Central Park. Wigan on Saturday 20 October 1956 played in the 2-12 defeat by Oldham in the 1958 Lancashire Cup final during the 1958-59 season at Station Road. Swinton Saturday 25 October 1958 played and was captain in the 59 victory over Swinton in the 1960 Lancashire Cup final during the 1960-60 one season at Station Road. Swinton Saturday 29 October 1960 and played, and was captain in the 25-9 victory over Swinton in the 1960 one Lancashire Cup final during the 1960-60 one season at Station Road. Swinton Saturday 11 November 1961. Although at Street Helens, Vince Coriolis did not appear in the 5-22 defeat by Lee in the 1952 Lancashire Cup final during the 1952-53 season at Station Row, Swindon on Saturday 29 November 1952, and the 5-4 defeat by Warrington in the 1959 Lancashire Cup final during the 1959-60 season at Central Park, Wigan Saturday 31 October 1959, a 7-4 victory over Swindon in the 1962 Lancashire Cup final during the 1962-63 season at Central Park, Wigan Saturday 27 October 1962. By 1961-62, St Helens embarked on a rebuilding period as this searched for a new generation of players to press for honours. It would appear that Vince Coriolis lay outside those plans when he was sold to his hometown club witness in 1962. His last match for Street Helens was against Leeds on January of that year. In all, Coriolis appeared in 252 matches for St Helens. He scored 42 tries for 126 points. Despite the move, Coriolis would always be remembered by fans and players alike. Alex Maffey acknowledged the support and protection Coriolis offered him during their time playing at St Helens. Indeed, according to Murphy, he was my loose forward and he was unbelievable to have on your side if he said it was Christmas. After his move to Norton Park in 1962, Coriolis was appointed club captain. This was a role that Coriolis was determined to excel in commenting on the move. He revealed the work ethic that was such a foundation for his rugby talent. Some players come back to spend their last seasons at their own hometown club like courses being put to grass. I came back to witness determined to give 100% effort. 
In his first season at Widnes, he helped his hometown team finish third in the championship, which he called the club's best league placing. The following season saw him lead his team to Wembley, where Widnes would challenge cup winners. This was the Widnes' first trophy success in 18 years. In 1966, he announced his retirement. Vince Carillis played and was captain in Widnes' 30 minutes 5 victory over Hawkinson Rovers in the 1964 Challenge Cup final during the 1963-64 season at Wembley Stadium, London on Saturday 9 May 1964, in front of a crowd of 84,488. International career and the Battle of Brisbane. At 25, Grealis was selected to make the 1958 Tour to Australia Tour that would go down in rugby league history. It was during the Battle of Brisbane in 1958 at the Brisbane Exhibition Ground when Alan Prescott led the Lions to victory with a broken arm that the Karelius Hardman status was well and truly enshrined. With Prescott in agony with a broken arm, Karelius was also in trouble with an injury to his back. Tour manager Tom Mitchell recalls in his book The Memories and Sporting Life of Tom Mitchell. The team went out with Karelius at the far side of the dressing room still on the bench. Vinci, we are out. Come on, sorry. Thomas. Counted to me back, I got in behind him and did enough to get him standing up, slowly across the room to the sunlit opening leading to the pitch then a step or two and like a boxer getting up after a knockdown, he teetered with the push onto the arena, gaining movement with every stride, without him on the field of position was the same as the captain's certain defeat, how he stood up to the first ten minutes I will never know as my eyes stared the gaze from him to Prescott, as I write this thirty nine years and I permit myself a heartfelt view. No ashes. No basking in the future unending sunshine of happening to be there as team manager. During this tour, one Australian was moved to write Lant Job Vince Karelius, the wild bull of the Pampers, is a dedicated wrecker of Australian forwards. Thereafter, the nickname stuck and Karelius was firmly embedded in the sporting public's conscience as what a rugby league forward should represent. Karelius represented Great Britain ten times in his time with Street Helens. He also won five lecture caps. Coaching Six years after he retired from playing, Karelius returned to witness as coach, appointed in January 1972. Karelius imposed onto the club his own values and visions fitness, determination and winning. He aimed to turn the club into a force, a vision that was achieved as early as 1974-75. First Salford were beaten in the Lancashire Cup final and then rivals Warrington were defeated in the Challenge Cup. This was the first time in their history that Widnes had recorded two trophies in the same season. At his zenith, Carrillo stepped down once from his role as coach. He was replaced in May 1975 by Frank Myler. He returned to the club for a short spell in March 1983 as co-coach with Harry Dawson. Dawson quit as coach in March 1984 with Karelius continuing as team manager. Vince Karelius was the coach in Widnes' 19 minutes 6 victory over Wigan in the 1984 Challenge Cup final during the 1983-84 season at Wembley Stadium, London on Saturday 5 May 1984 in front of a crowd of 80,160. Karelius was also one of the original 13 former Widnes players inducted into the Widnes Hall of Fame in 1992. In 2000, he became the first forward to be inducted into the British Rugby League Hall of Fame. Retirement after retiring from rugby league, Karelius forged a successful scrap metal business. He was a resident of the Isle of Man, where he died 13 December 2008, aged 76.